Hello Libras and welcome to Deku Tarot. I'm going to be doing your July 15th through the 31st mid-monthly spiritual and tarot reading. Um, this is for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I just want to say thank you guys so much for all of your support, my amazing Libras. Um, if this doesn't resonate with you, the messages aren't for you. Go check out your, especially your Rising and your Moon this month, um, also your Venus. They might resonate better with you. Uh, especially so if you have Capricorn, um, rising your moon or cancer rising your moon, definitely check out their readings this month. Um, okay. Libras, I do want to preface this with saying, I don't know what is going, Mercury retrograde is just messing up my electronics. I just shot three quarters of your video and it wasn't there. Don't know what happened. So I'm not going to change the cards because I think the messages are just, yes, like they're just very on point here. Um, so we're just going to go over the cards that I already have out here. I didn't finish it. I, didn't, I was just about to move on to love, actually, when um, I was like, oh, is this just not recording anymore? That's great. Why is that going on? So Libras. Um, why am I, I'm not even going to shuffle. I'm just going to talk about these cards here because the first one that came out for you was the Four of Swords, like just as I was doing the introduction. So <laughs> again, Take some rest is definitely the message here from Spirit. You guys are exhausted. I can feel it. I can feel it, guys. Um, as soon as I stepped into your energy, I was like, y'all need a nap. <laughs> need to Netflix and chill. Go, you know, have some mac and cheese in bed, okay? Um, I think yesterday, never mind. I was going to, you know, yesterday was supposedly mac and cheese, you know, National Mac and Cheese Day or something like that in America, which... I don't know, every day is a different national food day. Um, a message that is not important here, is it? Of course not. <laughs> but anyways, go have some mac and cheese, cozy up under the covers, and, you know, watch some Netflix. Take, take a break, stop stressing out, because you guys are heavily focused on career, on work, on the next leg up right now. Two of Wands reverse, Nine of Pentacles reverse. You have a lot of reversals here, I will say. Um, and... Are we surprised? We're in the middle of how many retrogrades? It's Saturn, Pluto, Neptune, Jupiter, Mercury, Chiron. You know, Chiron just went retrograde. We'll talk about that. Don't worry. The wounded healer in Aries just went retrograde. Um, that's going to bring up a lot of, again, old painful wounds, uncomfortable places where we have refused to heal. We have not let go of things. Those types of feeling situations, memories are going to come back up to the surface and we're going to have to deal with them. There's a lot coming um, up here in this retrograde energy. And especially so this July with all these eclipses, especially so, again, it's really heightened with the lunar eclipse and we already had that full, um, I think it was a full solar eclipse cancer new moon forgive me i have such a hard time saying all these things and this is i'm actually shooting this the day before um on july 6 you know the day before july 16th so it's the 15th today and tomorrow we're having that full moon in capricorn total lunar eclipse i could not have said that more awkwardly thank you mercury retrograde if you guys watch my videos you know what it does to me i'm sorry for speaking like yoda i'm sorry for flubbing up everything that i'm saying it's just what it does to me um and apparently to my electronics it's just it's just been a mess. So um, let me know your Mercury retrograde experiences in the comments below, guys. Um, I think in a positive light, it brings us um, brings up a lot of old things that we used to enjoy, love, especially as children, young adults. And, you know, it's bringing up that kind of nostalgic feeling. However, it's also bringing back in the exes. We'll talk about that, too. Um, and for you guys, it's bringing up a type of insecurity with our career, with our finances, with getting to that next level. We believe and we feel maybe that we have to prove to the rest of the world, prove to others, even just to ourselves, um, on a very deep level that we can get to a certain level of success, that we can get that leg up, that, uh, you know, that promotion, that, um, what is the word I'm looking for? Uh, that raise really, um, especially if that's what we've been waiting for in terms of a career, but we're not seeing it with the two of wands reversed. We are, unable to really see the forest through the trees right now we don't feel we have the information the knowledge whatever it is that we're looking for to get to where we're going we don't feel that the world is in our hands even if it is um at this time we don't feel like we have those options we don't have the power here there's um a definite fear of the unknown a fear of 
wait a second, where am I going? And am I really going to get there? And do I believe in myself? And do they really think, you know, highly of me? Do I have the skills? Do I have the talent? And know that you guys do, but it is affecting you in a very, um, actually, move, let me move these cards. This comes up a lot with this full moon uh, and Capricorn here. And I want to look at some of my notes for this because this is really, really resonating to me with this, um, focus on a bruised ego here. We're focusing on our, you know, having our issues with our self-esteem. This is bringing up a bruised ego, bruised self-esteem here. We might be beating ourselves up. Um, again, focusing too much on what we should have, what we need to have, what, you know, even if it's like a keeping up with the Joneses type of energy here, you know, I need to do this for X, Y, and Z reasons. Um, but know that you guys are outgrowing bad, difficult behaviors, emotions. Um, we're outgrowing all this, you know, gaslighting, jealousy, guilt tripping type of energy even if it's all directed at ourself so libras this is what's really coming up here with that nine of pentacles reverse you know oh i think i should be here you know oh i need to have this amount of money i should be living in this type of apartment this type of place i want to do this i want to do that but i don't have what it takes right now so how do i get there what do i do and we're trying really hard it feels like to push through this however what came up in your advice here and what you need to know about making decisions in this season is the lover's reverse. Not a great time to make decisions. We're not seeing things clearly. We are apt to make poor decisions, cause fights. Um, you know, in the wake of making some poor decisions or assuming that we're making a great decision when in fact it is not great, um, it's causing fights, quarrels, issues. We're not, again, communicating on an equal level way. And it's really showing this season. So the hero font says to take it easy, to take it slow, listen to our higher self, listen to, you know, that, um, that nagging in the back of your mind that's like, hey, don't do that, don't say that, don't start this fight, don't say something like that. Listen to that, take it slow, take it easy, get back to that more traditional sense of yourself is what the hero font talks about, a more traditional energy and attitude towards the situation a more a wiser attitude or energy and by the way guys I, I forgot to mention this is my ethereal visions tarot deck here um sorry ethereal visions illuminated tarot deck because so i know a lot of you guys ask in the comments what decks i use because i have a lot um this deck is beautiful um but anyways let's get into this again um this is a card that i really wanted to talk to you guys about because for me this is getting into that diplomatic libra energy um Libras, you guys are known to be the peacekeeper. You know, you are the justice card. You see things for what they are from both perspectives and you're able to make a measured decision um, based on, you know, reality as well as the emotional perspective of it. So it's like relying on your intuition, your heart, because you are ruled by Venus. So you have a great sense of intuition, a great sense of, I think I know what's going on here um, within a situation, with, whether it be work or, you know, friendships issues. This to me feels like, we have a heavy focus on work this month for you guys especially um you guys are definitely focused on, on career on work on where we should be where we need to be oh, i hate all my milk in my coffee and they did that today i just think it tastes terrible sorry if i just made a face um i forgot that i hate that <laughs> um anyways the hero font So get back to that traditional sense of yourself, to that traditional Libra diplomatic sense. So don't, so you're not hopping into situations, so you're not making poor decisions because you can't see the forest through the trees. And you know, these are decisions and reactions based on our insecurity and a need to take a break, to see things better, to go within, to take, you know, some time to meditate. This is what he's really all about is saying, you know, things are not what they seem right now and you need to take a step back. If you are trying to push through on a job thing, again, a career situation, decisions are not, you know, the way you're approaching it, it's not going to come across as well and you could flub the whole thing up. So just hold off, hold off, take it easy, take it slow. This is not something to be rushed into. It will still be there. Even if you're like, oh no, I'm sorry guys. Even if you're like, no, this is the month that I want to make this happen. July is not that month. So let's move on here to some... Let me pull one more card here and then we'll move on to love and relationships. Any other last messages about looking more towards the end of July? Whew, 
the sun and the three of swords reversed. There is healing, there's success once we step into Leo season here. These both popped out, love it. Um, look at how beautiful that is. That's one of the happiest cards in the deck. It's, it's literally just success, abundance, security. You know, we're getting there. This confidence boost of, you know, stepping into the sunlight, not having to worry anymore, getting to experience joy. Um, you know, the weight is lifted off your shoulders and you're able to really be present in the moment. So make sure again that you are present in the moment, that you're present in the moment because you guys are healing is a message that I'm also getting here. Um, being fully present where we are at this moment, even if it does feel uncomfortable, even if, you know, life is paused right now, it is all going to break finally when we get out of, you know, Mercury retrograde at the end of this season. And forgive me if I'm wrong, I'm not an astrologer, but I believe that Mercury um, goes direct on the same day that we have a new moon in Leo. And again, forgive me if I'm wrong on that. But so that is quite a, again, that sunshine feeling, you know, we've healed, we feel better, especially within our own ego, our ego feels better, we're feeling more secure in ourselves. we're feeling more confident, because we have something, we're realizing where we should be confident, and where we shouldn't be beating ourselves up so much, so again, this is a great sense of, you know, what, you know, this is, like after like a week, you know, if you, I can't English, I'm so sorry guys, um, if you were to get stitches and then you go to get them out and it's kind of that feeling after that where you feel a lot more free, you know, the wound's going to be healed up, things are going to feel better, they're going to look better, and you're going to be able to see things from a more rational and balanced perspective instead of, you know, this energy of beating ourselves up where everything is at pause and why are things like this and what's going on and I can't, I don't know where this is going and I feel stuck, lost, and all this crap is coming up to be dealt with and I don't understand why. You're going to understand it all by the, you know, again, by Leo season, by that Leo new moon. And again, forgive me if I'm wrong, I believe it's like the last day of this month. So, once we get there, we're going to understand why those three swords were even put in in the first place. We're going to understand why, and we're going to understand that we have to let it go to move forward. And we're going to be ready to do that. We're going to have the energy, the confidence, the self-love and self-mastery, really, to work through all this stuff and get to this more confident, more secure point, and also probably have some great things come in where we're like, oh, actually, I am successful, I am amazing, I'm Libra, I'm wonderful, I'm able to do all this stuff, there's no reason for me to feel so bad. So let's pull some cards for love here, and I'm going to use the um, Morgan Greer Tarot. I'm loving these new decks. I'm sorry guys, I just like had a sneezing fit there, so I had to pause it. Um, anyways, let's move on to love here. Love and romance energy for Libras, Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for July 15th through the 31st of 2019. Whew! The Emperor. How do I feel about the Emperor here? I feel like you guys are taking quite the stance in your love life here. You might be having, you know, a Libra, no, no, not a Libra, sorry, a Leo or an Aries coming in. And that could be, you know, that masculine energy, or again, um, there's a lot of masculine energy in our surroundings here, but I feel like you guys want to take charge here in terms of love situations, or if there is a fire sign, especially a Leo, Aries, or Sag, could be either of them, it could even be a Scorpio with the Emperor card, but, um, it could be quite prevalent. Yeah, the fool. It could be having a new adventure with somebody like that. To me, this talks about, yeah, new beginnings, new adventures. Um, taking control in the beginning of a relationship or taking control and pushing something forward. Um, taking a more leadership role in a relationship or a situation here. Or there could be some pretty adventurous energy, again, with a fire sign. And it could lead you to make some foolish decisions. I will warn of that. That's a message that I sometimes get with the fool. Not always, but um, especially with an Aries. There's an Aries energy here that they could either goad you into doing something foolish or it doesn't have to be an Aries, but a different fire sign energy. Somebody who's very, yeah, they're trying to see where they can push your boundaries. Or, you know, maybe this person's opening up to you. Um, again, this could be... A fun type of it's a kind of like a fun like tryst energy with somebody that 
comes in quite powerfully out of nowhere and you really don't know where it's going. Six of Cups. Uh, <laughs> everyone's been getting this. It's Mercury retrograde. Are we surprised? Of course not. Um, exes could be coming back. People wanting to reconnect with us, see what we're doing. How are we doing? I still love you. I never got over you type of energy. Um, so we could be having that. This could also just be reconciliation, reconnection within a relationship, within a marriage, a partnership there. Uh, but I will say... Yeah, we're reflecting upon the past here. I think a lot of you in thinking about what could be, oh, that could have been amazing. What if I meant to be with that person? What if I want to see, you know, what if I want to be with them? Um, some of us could be reuniting and I'm not going to, I'm going to, don't get excited about the word, but you know, it could be a twin flame situation or again, a soulmate situation, uh, reuniting again. It feels to me like some of us, like, this is like a childhood love, a, you know, a high school sweetheart energy, um, it just feels very young and naive and, you know, oh, I miss that kind of energy. I miss the excitement, that lovey-dovey, childish, you know, almost like a teenager's in love type of feeling here, Romeo and Juliet. It kind of feels that way for me, for some of you. This is kind of like a Romeo and Juliet love situation here. But we have to be willing to work on our boundaries in a lot of way. A lot of ways here. There is indecision as well but i mean are we surprised again i feel like the indecision comes from you you really don't know what this person or situation is coming back in to offer to say to do and you don't really know i think if you want to go for it or not if you're getting proposed to this month i think some of you or if they're proposing you know to move somewhere i feel like you guys are really undecided yeah, you need to take some time for yourself here. The Hermit or might have something to do with the Virgo. Um, you need to go within. You need to take a step back. You need to evaluate how you really feel and what you really want in this situation. This is a very important time to hold, kind of hold off, I would say, on big relationship decisions. So if somebody is presenting you with one right now in the second half of July, it's time to take a step back and think about it. To go within the Hermit takes a lot of time out for himself here he really goes within to look at a situation from a different perspective to kind of go and follow his own light on it you know um if you study hermeticism if you know anything about it it's a lot about kind of finding your own you know understanding of things your own religion trying to find that deeper understanding unlocking the mysteries but knowing that spiritualism and religion and your whole view on the, on, you know, your whole view and perspective and what you need from a situation from life itself at a deeper level is really up to you. And it's your evaluation and your understanding of it that you need to come to in your own time and in your own energy. Wow, that is a very deep message. Who the heck was that one for? Let me know. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, so withdraw. Take some time out from the daily rat race. Remember that four of swords? You need to take some time out. You need to take time for yourself this uh, in the second half of July. You know, and even if everybody's saying, Libra, come do this, come do this, you need, you need to take a step back. You need to take a step back. All right, let's see. Anything, any other messages that want to come out here? Libra's in terms of love. The hero font, again, take it slow. Listen, chuck it up to your higher self. Look at the way he's got his little fingers pointed to the ceiling there, to the sky he's like, hey, you know what's going on right now. Now is not the time to step into this. And sometimes, yeah, I would see this as a marriage card, as, you know, a more serious, you know, type of, you know, somebody stepping into a more serious level of a relationship, moving in together, getting married, talking about these things, or being a very traditional relationship. But right now, I have to be honest, this really talks to me about finding your own keys to the situation. Somebody else is going to have a different view and wants them different. But right now, you need to think about you and focus on you. And focus on really deciding for yourself what you need, what you want. And if this is if what you're in right now is really for you. You might be thinking again about how you viewed love and relationships and what you wanted when you were a child, when you were a teenager. And you need to understand, you know, 
why this stuff is coming up and how you really feel about it and if that's something you still want to hold on to and you need to take your own time about this so if people are pushing you into decisions about love right now i really think that you need to take it slow you need to say i need to think about this i need to do this on my own time i need to i need to wait until i can you know give you a solid answer but i need to go into libra justice mode here i need to go into the hermit mode and balance out my scales and really work on this. I need to consult my higher self, somebody who might know more about the situation or you know, can impart some type of guidance to me, maybe a spiritual master or leader, but this is, again, needing to go within and I think just develop what you, what your sense of what you need in a relationship is and what you know, marriage and <laughs> um, what a relationship should be for you and what you need it to be. And that involves being very honest and very no holds barred with yourself. So take it slow, be a hermit, do what you got to do. Okay, Libras, let's get some um, Oracle cards now. Pull one Romance Angel. Messages from the Romance Angels from Archangel Kamuel, Archangel Raguel for Libras for um, July... 15th to the 31st. Oops. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So again, some of you guys have people coming back in and you want to explore those feelings. Don't rush into anything. Take it slow. But there's definitely needing to explore our feelings here about somebody, about a situation, even about our relationships. And that's really what I feel... Um, it's very important for you guys in terms of love right now. This is a very, like, take a step back type of month for you. Slow down. Take a break. Take a nap. Take a vacation. Okay? So let's see here. The Halloween Oracle by Stacey DeMarco. Guidance and messages from your higher selves for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do they need to know for July 15th through the 31st? Ghost, regret. Talk about this here, ghost. So, it is said that the spirits that cannot let go of this world have a reason for this. Sometimes it is to warn the living to guide them, but generally it is because they haven't finished their business here on the plane of the living. They have regrets that they wish to resolve. Should the ghost come gliding into your life during divination, it may indicate that you have some regrets to let go of. Holding grudges or regrets is burdensome work and it weighs us down eventually. By taking actions to free ourselves of these old burdens, we clear the way for more rightful and wise action for the future. We can begin to live again fully if we let go of what was and step into new possibilities. And this card has been coming out for a lot of people I've been doing personal readings for, a lot of the other readings. So um, it's time to let go of regrets. It's time to let go of what holds us back and to stop beating again ourselves up about situations where we just need to let go and move forward and explore our true feelings on situations here. So, my lovely Libras, I wish you nothing but the best in this crazy energy this month. I'll see you guys in the August, in the August um, first half of the month readings. Um, and I'll probably be putting out some other content that I've been thinking about doing and trying to plan out. But I have your design all set, so keep an eye out for that. It'll be up on Teespring in the next couple of days. Um, and if you want to get um, a discount of 20% off um, of any of your orders on Teespring, all you have to do is use the code CANCERS, okay? So, um, that's all I want to say, guys. Thank you guys so, so much for all of your support. Um, I do appreciate all of your support, guys. Um, if you haven't, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And if you want to book a private reading, guys, check out my information in the description box right below this video, okay? Um, definitely check out your moon and your risings, and, um, if I have time, I'm going to be doing a, um, full moon and Capricorn partial lunar eclipse reading for all the signs, but it'll probably just be a short one. I'm pretty exhausted. This, all this eclipse energy has been really affecting my sleep and I have not been sleeping well. So, um, taking it slow. All right. Um, thank you guys so much again and have a blessed second half of July. Namaste.